even more of a lead against Keith, but... Yeah, you could have gotten the extra stock. Yeah, I, I was... I almost, um, the thought got him with me, mm -hmm. but I, I died right before I came Yeah. So it was that. Mm -hmm. Bad things happen to me on Pokemon yeah. Stadium. And then I did, get a, I did get a stock off through Fox, and that's like, that was like the main guy. Mm -hmm. Uh, was that Abolition? Yeah, Abolition. Okay. Yeah, you played really good in that Fox Ditto for like Yeah, you kept messing up a bunch of stuff and that uh, but I mean that's how Fox Ditto's are. Mm -hmm. Neither of you got the edge guard, so Yeah. <laughs> I was just like alright. I was, I was very stressed. You were both at like one forty on Dreamland. Yeah, I'm like he's not gonna cover the ledge, I mm -hmm. know, so it kept getting There's a time when I thought you were super dead, but Fox's recovery continues yeah, so to amaze me. It's impossible yeah, to stop. Always take the guy and you're always coming back home. As long as he gets it up. All right, they're sending in Keith first. I think that's an okay pick because I they sent Peach right in. Right it, uh, it. They sent Keith in against me, so I'm guessing he likes the Peach matchup. Um, wasn't he in New England for a while and was yeah, he, he friends with Mafia yeah. or something? Yeah, he gets some good practice. All right, so he's Sheik. He's definitely Sheik matchup fashion. master. But uh, look at this Peach doing better than I do. At least. I wonder how they ended up on FOD. I feel like Keith messed up the strikes. It should go to Battlefield, but that's just me. He's gonna get down smashed. Yep. Should fight. Yeah. I really like what this Peach has done so far. Spacing out with the fair, where if she floats just a little bit above Keith's F tilt, she can slap him with the crown. Um, yeah, he got a soft nair, tried to pick up a dash attack there. He's doing a lot of these instant float, instant float up airs. Shout out to Helka. That's nerdy Peach. All right, gets a dash tag. He's just coming in with diamonds. Mm -hmm. Looks like he can't do anything. Yep. Keith is scouting out some rolls, and he's kind of trying to get in that float space with the nair or the back air. Yeah. All right, so the platform kind of worked out for Keith there. So maybe FOD's all right. Uh, he's zoning him out with back airs pretty hard though. Keith's running into running into Peach's big back air. It's a grab. Throws it back. Yep. Yeah. So if you don't space Sheik's back air every time you approach Peach, she can crouch cancel that until like 90. So Keith's gonna eat a couple more down smashes if he's doing that. I'm also not seeing any dash after the down smash. I really like it. Yeah, he's doing Whoa. really low fares. But gets him with the bob on. That was incredible. That's the kind of advantage that can really make it make you in cruise. Because now he's got uh, three stocks, and if he closes this out, he can keep it. Mm -hmm. But it looks like Keith has an edge guard situation right here. Uh, gets one back air. Peach is gonna go high, and he cleans it up with up air. You can bring it back. Oh, for sure. Or at least take a stock. Yeah, we've seen swings in these crew battles so far. It's not safe to assume you have the lead. Oh, he's going for the platform down smash. This guy plays like me. Didn't work out. This is lead. This is looking and yeah, better, Keith picks up better. a. Keith picks up a few, uh, I don't want to say cheap, but they were generous stocks here. From Super M, Super M, Super Mr. JMT is, I think, his tag. Needs more vowels. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he cleaned up I like that beard. last stock from Keith. Uh, unfortunate SD, but he's got one stock left to work with. We'll see if he can give the Wisconsin crew a bit more of a lead here. Who do you think Iowa State's going to send I it in? I think they're going to send it in. Desler. Yeah, that makes sense. This is an old Falcon from the mains, right? Yeah. Yeah, Desler played. He was number one in Iowa for a while last year. Really and good. then we lost him to Street Fighter V. He, he, was, he was pretty good. Yeah, he got tilted by Fox and said Melee had no neutral and then started playing Street Fighter V. Basically, <laughs> But they're not going to send in Dessler. I wonder if Dessler's feeling weird about the Peach matchup. They're going to send in Overdose, and he's going to pick Doc, which I think that's a solid pick, because if Overdose is going to play Doc at all, I think Peach is one of Doc's better top-tier matchups. Does he have any other characters? Uh, yeah, Overdose has a Doc and a Falco. I know he played the Falco in the first crew battle. Yeah, he didn't really get that many chain drops on it. Yeah. Most of the time he just has. I think he got like an up to and an up smash. And was, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Doc can kind of struggle to get those combos sometimes. That's true though, Doc does have that chain grab. Mm -hmm. Have you ever played Zack Doc? Did you have the experience? Capes the turn up. I actually, this matchup sucks when he capes turn ups. I don't know why. It just makes it hard. 
I really think Super Mr. JMT needs to avoid approaching too much here because Doc is a lot better when you run into his. Oh. Picks up another Stitch Face. This man has great RNG. RNG. Yep. Melee God's smiling on the University of Wisconsin right now. Alright, Matt picks up that uh, quick combo. Yep. He did go down one stock, so Super Mr. JMT has built up a little lead for Wisconsin. We'll see if they can hang on to it. Yeah. Uh, Doc vs. Puff's not bad, though. I think they should send in a fast volley. Especially if the Falco player goes in, I think Doc vs. Falco is pretty bad. Because he can just lame him out with like AC backers and stuff. I don't know what kind of Falco he is, but if he's good at the Marth matchup, he's one of those patient kind of yeah. Falcons. Assuming this Doc knows how to. Oh, he's also got the counter pixel. Yeah, right? Yep. That's also definitely in play. Overdose, looking a little bored, waiting to warm up that Doc. So would this be if we played winners finals as losers finals? Okay, so yeah. we'll play the winner of this again. I don't know. I think that was a short exchange there for the one minute of coaching. <laughs> Leba talked to him. She can dock her basically the same character, so I bet Leba knows. Honestly, shout out to the Wisconsin crew and the Minnesota crew for making the drive out to Iowa for this. It's been pretty cool. Be like I like this event. It's one of the coolest melee events I've been to. It took me like 20 minutes to get here, so I'm pretty thankful for it. Alright. Overdose throws away that stock. And we're going to start on the 50. Two, one, go! Yep, goes to the laser right away, but Doc's got a cape, so we'll see some reflection shenanigans in the set. Uh, yeah, he throws a dash attack. Um, I think, I'm like not that. sure what the, the Falco is Midwest, uh, yeah, Midwest Squid. So the Midwest Falco's Squid. Facing them out really well. Yeah. I'd like to see up tilts from under. Mm -hmm. Doc really has that. Oh, oh wow. Matt made a great read there. Matt oh, is SD. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, trash talk. <laughs> yeah, from the oh, Iowa oh, State crew. Both hits. Mm -hmm. Trying to get him with the key. You know, we'll just say the Iowa State crew's passionate. That's how we'll put it. Yeah. Keith is the loudest. Mm -hmm. It's really just Keith who's uh, got some extra passion for this event. Uh, Overdose is still moving and grooving on the ground. Looks like he's trying to space a fair. He's throwing out some pills. This Falco's being very patient though, which is I think how you gotta play it against a floaty, floaty mid tier. Yep, catches him. So many dares, yeah. That's the Falco special. Keeps it going. That was a long combo. Picked up 113 in the back air. We'll seal it. Overdose has great movement on the ground, though. Yeah, he's beating out grabs. Yeah, All right. Hit Randall right here. Yep, he's going to make it. So he'll get another chance to hold like on to this stock. I like how he did off Randall right away. All right. If Overdose takes this one without taking very much percent, he's got a good shot it, grabbing a few more stocks for his crew. I don't think over, or he should be going for a key. Like, really hard reads like that. Yeah, I don't think so. Especially yeah, when you can just back it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I would try it. Yeah. Oh. So Overdose took that last stock without taking too much percent. There's a chance he can grab another one for his crew. Because the stock count's going to matter a lot in crews. Uh, yep, he's spacing the back airs. They're both spacing bear at each other right now, playing super safe. That's kind of the pressure of Cruz makes you play super safe, yeah, right? Because you does. kind of play every stock like it's your last stock. May help me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had to be responsible. Mm -hmm. He's kind of the stock is going to the top out, platform right. a lot, which I think is really good for Doc because he's not too quick through the air to cover it. Yeah, the AC back air to F smash will seal it. Overdose went for that shield grab. So the Wisconsin team still has a pretty fat lead right now. Are right, there's an abolition? All right, so we've got Sheik versus you play Falco. Falco. Oh, Abolition's the fox. Yeah, Pleba's the Sheik. You're right. 
All right. So this will be a spacey classic. Yeah, spacey guy. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure it's white spacey. Right? Did you? I think you played both of them in the last two yeah, sets, right? Yeah, I think right? I took this color. Or something like that. They're fighting about the colors. Do they play green? Do they play green? I think I played this white. Yeah, you were the white fox, which confused me for a minute. Usually I'm not white. But. <laughs> Abolition, I think, prefers the red. And it looks like we've got a green falca. Definitely a PPMD fan. Abolition is really heavy on the chain grab, so he's probably going to FD. Yeah, that makes sense. He's definitely one of those textbook type of fox yeah. players, especially against floaties. Yeah, we'll see what he can do here. He needs to make a Pokemon. Yeah. He needs to take two quick stocks here, and then uh, the Ames crew will be back on even footing with Wisconsin. I'm not sure about this Pokemon. I mean, Fox uh, is really good on it, but Falco with his space is really nice. Is yeah, for sure. I think it depends on what kind of Fox and Falco they are, because yeah. I think both of them can use the Looks space like well. Like yeah. Putting out that many lasers too, so I guess this could be. Mm -hmm. I think he's just being patient. Yeah. Because if you shoot the laser from too close, Fox can just pull hop over and drill you. Yeah. They're both dash dancing, playing super safe. Um, I'm guessing Abolition's playing to minimize the damage right here because he wants to hold this, these stocks for the next round. But. Ooh, it's a yeah, he picks shine. up the shine spikes. He's four smashing at the ledge. Only 839 on Midwest Squid's first stock, so he's in a good position to even this crew battle up. Forward throws him off the ledge, uh, doesn't get. A gimp off that, but they're back to squabbing in the middle. But you like you should just put out a back here and then react to it. Yeah. All right. He's running in and shining a lot. I'd like to see some grabs, maybe. Yeah, but All right. Squid. He's yeah. spinning out a lot of stuff. He's doing a bunch of mm -hmm. I like it, but I don't think I wish he's gonna fall through. I think he fell for one right there. Well, that was kind of a back air yeah. into him, so a bit of a mix up. Alright, Abolition's using the platforms to make some approaches over the lasers. Um, Midwest Squid's been alright with his shield pressure so far, but he ate a shine out of shield right there. Mm -hmm. Looks like he gets Abolition's shield pretty small sometimes, and then Abolition just rolls out. Yeah, I like to see it shine guns. Especially Abolition, since Ab Abolition quick 86 doesn't want to combo. roll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Doesn't want to roll and he's shine guard, or shine out should be a Laser shine. Alright. They're both getting Scrap. pretty close to that spacey death percent. Is he going to make Go it back? Yep, yes, yes he will make it back that time. Abolition misses a grab at point blank range. That's got to be upsetting. Was it? All right. Uh, either one of them could die at these percents, but he had no jump, so he has fallen off the stage. Abolition uh, runs this crew battle back to pretty close. He's going to be one stock down. Not a stock, but he's, I think he's pretty good against... Uh, or fast, or uh, slow fives. Floaties? Guy, uh, yeah, floaties. This guy coming in, he, That's he's Luigi. Luigi. Yeah. Alright, so this I'm is going to sure be a bit of a nutty match. Mm -hmm. I don't know for sure whether Abolition is going to feel comfortable fighting Luigi. And you told me this Luigi was pretty good against fast follies, right? pretty good against right? spaces, yeah. He was mm -hmm. way dashing around doing his Luigi stuff. Yeah, and he then, seemed a little lost against Peach, so I want to see him oh, in a matchup where he's comfortable. Mm -hmm. like, he probably doesn't get a lot of Peach matches. I wonder where he's take where he's gonna take it. Uh, I, my guess is Luigi wants to be on a. Oh yeah, there is a chain grab in play. So yep, that's yeah. where he'll take him. Classic Spacey's counter pick. Evolution though, he's too heavy on the yep. lasers, but I'd be careful. All right, we got a little bit of a slippery hand warmer there for Luigi movement. Two, one, go. That was an interesting neutral start, yeah, but I'll take it. Neutral, but right. <laughs> He was already moving and grooving, but not throwing any attacks, so I guess it's all fair. Evolution wants to be hitting mm -hmm. him with a bunch of Joe Shines, but For what sure. I noticed about about No Name, what's his name? No Name Noah. Yeah. He likes to go for a lot of down beats from across the stage. Yep. He definitely seems like he's doing a lot of these um, movement mix-ups to grabs and down smashes. I think that's his bread and butter neutral. Gets a shield grab there on the drill. That's kind of the danger of approaching with drill with Fox. Abolition's turning to the laser. I agree with that decision. I think you gotta have Luigi coming to you because he's got too much movement to just rush him down. He's All right, he's got an edge guard situation. Doesn't quite get it, but Abolition's still taking a lot of percent. 
All right, now the Luigi's off stage, he's not there. This is not where Luigi wants to be, but the misfire kind of bails him out. Pressure. Is he going to convert off the Nair? Yep. Up airs him off stage. Is he going to get the edge guard? F to will seal it. No name never almost holds the ledge, so if he's not a ledge should, holder. Or not uh, no name, I mean. <laughs> he always comes up with a back air or something. But, but I know this one I was thinking. They're both crouch canceling a bit. He's really nice on the lead, so also. Yeah. Uh, had some good FD combos there, picked up some cheap damage. The down smash to fair will uh, pile up a little more. Is he going to get Abolition back off stage? He eats a back air, and now he's floating through the air. Mm -hmm. Just a buttery ledge dash up to the stage and hits a down smash. This is, this is good. Yeah, Abolition went for the up air to return to stage, but no name was ready for it. All right, so now we've got a last stock situation for Abolition. And no name's about to take almost an entire uh, person lead for his crew. He hasn't lost his stock yet, so we'll see if Abolition can clean one up. Is it again? That is base that. All right, so Abolition cleans up an edge guard. Uh, we'd like to see him get another stock here to even this up. It's looking pretty scary for the Ames crew right now. But no names back on the attack. It's a down smash to a grab. Abolition's playing pretty safe right now, but I, I want to say he's approaching too much. I think he should yeah. just dash dance in, throw some back airs. I like that Joe yep. Shiner thing. Yeah. Puts him back off stage, but he eats a crouch cancel on the way up. Down smash for his trouble. He's got an opportunity now. Uh, Luigi's not too great coming back down to the ground, but he kind of gets it for free. Forward throws him off stage. Gets the shine. But uh, no names back. Hits a reverse fair to put Abolition off stage. That F tilt will knock him back off. Uh, kind of misses a point blank one right there and eats an up air for his trouble. Still performing pretty well, I'd say, but kind of an unfortunate loss. Gives Abolition a chance to maybe gimp another one here because Fox's shine is always in play. But it plays kind of safe with the crouch cancel there. Picks up a little more damage. I think next hard hit's going to send Fox out of here. And that'll do it. So it looks like this, this Luigi player, no name, he traded two Luigi stocks for three Foxes. Pretty solid performance. Did lose one at the end, but solid play. Yep. Definitely would have liked to keep that, but... I think Evolution was kind of adapting a little bit at the end. Mm -hmm. really know what to do against it's only one this fire, I think. Yeah. Alright, I don't know how well no name goes against Chief. Mm -hmm. He might be just a spacey lord. Really. That's true, he did look like he had the spacey combos down. All right, they're going to neutral start again. Looks actually neutral this time. All right. I didn't see No Name go for a lot of grabs either, so they would give such a shield. And mm -hmm. some... Yeah. Shield's more of a chic kind of thing, yeah. too, so I expect to see that. The down B to get back to the stage. He needs a dash tech. He wave lands on. Um, Pleba's the one going for grabs right now. I think that's pretty smart against Luigi, but he eats some damage there. That was a bit of a combo. Gets the Nair. He's reaching. All right, he's going to take the stage. That makes sense. Don't want to challenge Pleba directly right away. Unfortunate SD there. Battlefield should be banned. Uh, is there a UCF fix for that? Like, can we get a mod? <laughs> Pleba's space in the needles. That makes sense. Trying to catch him coming in. But down air is going to kill there. He just got quite a powerful kick to him. He's keeping it even like this. Leva gets a crouch cancel grab there. I think crouch cancel's great whenever Luigi leaves the ground. Now Luigi's in the air, so he's got to come back down. And, uh, that's where Luigi's in a tough situation. Leva's using the platforms pretty well because you know Luigi doesn't want to jump. Looks like he's kind of comfortable with the matchup. Gets a down smash and an up tilt. Blocks some needles. We'll see if No Name can steal another one. He's got a lot of percent on him. Grab for his trouble. Cleva's got a chance to clean this up with an edge guard, put the aim screw back on track, but no, he survives that one. So he's got another attempt and another unfortunate SD. 
Don't like to see that, but that's the nerves of crew battles. I think they're sending in their puff now. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they put in Dessler the Falcon then, because but I think they're saving him for Puff. He has a lot of Puff against it. Alright, so we've got Lord English against Pleba. Uh, I like the Puff Peach against a Sheik. I don't know how Lord English likes this matchup, but definitely make it hard on Sheik. Sheik's going to struggle to kill on Dreamland as well. All right, Lord English starts out with the space backers. We're going to see a lot of that. But Pleba so far playing this really well, picking up chip damage here and there, using the platforms to force Lord English into uncomfortable situations. What's out? Good shield pressure with those up tilts. Don't see that against Puff very often. I think Lord English needs to stay in there. That was a possible rest every time Pleba whips a grab, but Lord English wasn't ready for it. Maybe he just wasn't close enough. Alright, he's throwing out more bear. Uh, Pleba's eating a little bit of damage. Still picking up the good chips though, that F tilt stuffing puffed pretty well. That's dangerous. Couple hits. Now Pleba's in the corner, so we'll have to see how he fights his way out. Uh, rolls in. Yeah, he's got the stage control back. Still using the top platform. Whips a grab there. Another dangerous situation, but not sure. Lord English is looking for the rest. Maybe trying to hold stocks. Doesn't want to even up smash. Alright, Pleba's using his ground movement to try to space around this puff, but Lord English just sat there and looked at him and then got a grab, so that was an interesting exchange. Uh, Sheik's back here actually sometimes just outright beats puffs because Sheik has very long legs. That's what I saw happen right there. Alright, so now we've got Lord English in the corner. But back here's his way back to center stage. Alright, interesting to see how... Uh, Fleba plays the edge, because when he's on the edge there, it's a dangerous situation for Sheik. Might be able to pick something up here. Waits for the spot dodge. That was a dangerous situation here. Yeah. Every, every up air, every up tilt, that puts Sheik in a good bit of danger. Especially since Sheik's going to have so much trouble killing Puff back if he lands a rest. I don't think Lord English is the most uh, rest-happy Puff I've ever seen, though. Seems to want to play more defensive, um, not put himself in too much risk. Eating the punishment from the rest. Another unfortunate SD. We've got both crews experiencing a lot of nerves. A lot of ledge dashes being missed. Pleba had a very fast mash out of that grab, that was impressive. Alright, so Lord English with a chance to give his crew a two-stock lead, leading into Ames' final player. But, we'll see. Pleba obviously trying to even this back up. Lord English, up smashes from underneath him. Alright, finally goes for the rest, but didn't quite have the spacing. Oh, that was crazy, man. Alright, Pleba's reaching a little bit and coming in too much, eating space backers for his trouble. He's going to have to be more patient because Pleba, uh, Lord English isn't quite ready to die here on Dreamland. However, eats a strong back air there in the corner, trying to get back to the stage and that'll kill. Alright, this is a pretty tense situation. I think whoever takes this stock has a pretty uh, favorable chance of winning the crew battle. Actually crouches under the back air there because she's oh, so oh, high up and oh, finally oh, gets the rest. Lord English taking Move his crew to a one stock lead here against Iowa State. Wait, even with him, right? Or with Pleba down mm -hmm. the stock. I think Pleba down. The Impressive performance by Pleba though. Um, yeah. Sort didn't of really fish strong. for too many grabs. And uh, I think he took a lot of stocks because that got pretty even. Took maybe six. 
All right, there is Destler returned from Street Fighter V to get back at us, to get even. In his big house shirt. Yep, we'll see if he can clean up one stock from Lord English, and then we'll have an even final. He's mainly a Street Fighter player, but he floats around him amazing. Definitely. I wonder what stage he would take a puff to. Yep. Yeah, he likes Yoshi's. Actually, I know Destler likes large stages in general because he loves his dash dance. Yeah. At least he did. That might have been an old Destler. We might have a different animal today. All right, little quick hand warmer, neutral start. All right, and Lord English versus Destler. Both starting out with space back airs. Destler's got an up air chain now. Destler wants to stay under there. Yeah, that was great damage. Puff's already looking close. Knee might seal it. Gravity might be it. Mm -hmm. Dessler's always in danger of getting gimped by the puff, yeah. though, so this isn't over yet. All right, they're trading damage. Lord English is playing a little bit safer now that he knows he's a death percentage. Gets a dash attack, um, passes through Dessler's shield. They're back to neutral. One grab from Lord English, a uh, chance to steal a stock, but he doesn't quite get the edge guard. Great tech on the back air to survive, keep himself in this. But Dessler goes off stage with the back air and catches him, so we're going to have an even final game. He's screwed out of they got the counter pick though. I think this is their Fox. I think it will be, yeah. So we'll see how Destler does against Fox. I believe this is the character that tilted him out of melee in the first place. But, this is a new improved Destler, Street Fighter V neutral fundamentals. And he's back on Captain Falcon. He's hungry. Iowa State doesn't want to lose this. Um, I think both of our Iowa crews feel like this is home turf and we want to defend it. So we'll see if we have an all Iowa grand finals or if we have that Iowa versus Wisconsin rivalry playing out again. All right, they're both getting their hands warm a little bit. Neutral start. And this is it, final match of the... Whoa, something's going on. All right, it's a restart. Yeah, it's either... Okay, they're calling a false start. Somebody didn't respect the neutral start. <laughs> Interesting. So it's getting pretty intense out there. They're both jumping the gun. Don't know who did it, but... And it will be on Fountain of Dreams, so that will be the problem. And we'll see who will sit in Grand Finals. <laughs> And, uh, so way better set not Dave immediately yeah, landing SD. several up airs into the Destler SD. So the Destler to touch the side. He taunts him, so not playing around. All right, Destler's gonna have trouble here with Fox's crouch cancel and turn around up tilt. It makes approaching with Falcon very difficult. And Destler was never much of an approacher, so we'll see if uh, not Dave can force him into those situations. Because if not Dave approaches Trevor, he'll uh, be looking for dash dance grabs. Not Dave's actually playing this really well right now, zoning him out with back airs, finishing his edge guards. Um, we'll see if Destler can answer. It's looking grim for the aim screw right now. Need a grab. That'll be Trevor's big opening. All right. Uh, yep. Not Dave put himself off stage, and Destler cleaned it up with the knee. All right. Not Dave runs in, gets a down tilt on Trevor's dash back. That was a smart overshoot aerial. He's spacing him out with the nair. Spot dodge shine. All right, Trevor comes down with the back air, kind of neutralizes that situation, and he's going to be out of there. That's three. All right. The Iowa State team on its last stock now. We've got Dessler versus not Dave. Needs to clean this one up pretty quick. I'm not sure Dessler can afford that much damage here. Uh, back throws him off stage. If he cleans up this edge guard, he might be back in it, but unfortunately does not. Uh, they're trading, trading aerials in neutral. We haven't seen a big opening here on this stock. Trevor's got a chance here, trying to do some 20 GX stuff, but it doesn't quite work out. All right, gets him with an up air, but it doesn't lead to anything. Another edge guard situation for Dessler. Is he going to clean it up? Not quite, but he gets a stomp knee. All right, so Dessler's back on track. If he takes another quick one, we've got an even game. Eats a dash attack and a shine, but not too much percent. All right, not Dave spacing around the grab with back airs. Got a chance to finish it, but no, not quite. Trevor's off stage again, comes back up with a back air and gets it. Knees that uh, tech in place. 
Gets the tip man and the stomp. All right, last stock situation. Is Iowa State going to make this comeback, or will not Dave clean it up for Wisconsin? Not Dave looking. Not Dave's fishing. Runs in, down smashes. Really got a nervous. chance to finish it with F smash. Trevor's got one more chance, but no. Not Dave grabs the ledge and cleans it up for the Wisconsin crew, and Iowa State out at third place.